Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and we are learning Gatling for complete beginners and I will go step by step and we will start from scratch and you can follow this on Windows or Mac operating systems. I will add all the notes of this video in the description below this video and you will also find a timeline in the description where you can jump to any of the sections in this video and you will see a link for the quiz in the description so you can also take the Gatling quiz after watching this video and in this part we are going to learn something very easy and very interesting and this will actually uh, start our learning journey how to create a real world performance test so we are going to see how to divide our scenario into modules into different uh, reusable processes or modules and then we will learn how we can configure virtual users with ramp up time so this is going to be very interesting let's get started and let us first see the steps to how to divide our scenario into isolated modules or processes that we can reuse and for that step number one is we will first uh, record or create a Gatling simulation script now you can use an already existing script if you have and I'm going to record a new script so you can see everything from scratch so I'm going to my browser and I will go to the application let me just go to the uh, Gatling demo application that is computer database and this is the URL so here you can see this is the Gatling demo application where we can uh, search computers and then we can edit the computers here so this is what I'm going to record and here we can use the Gatling recorder and use proxy we have already seen in the earlier parts how to use proxy in Gatling recorder or we can just create a HAR file or HAR file and then we can use it in the Gatling recorder to generate the simulation script so let us do that I will I'm on my Chrome browser I will go to these three dots here and go to more tools and go to developer tools and here I'm here so I will go to the networks tab here we have the networks tab and make sure that we have the preserve log checked and in case you see any earlier logs you can click this button to clear all the earlier logs and we also have the recording on so to record going to this particular page I will again refresh the page and you can see it is getting recorded here uh, then let us say I will search for a computer ace and filter and I have got this here I will go to this ace computer and now I can edit something here so let us say I will say introduced date is 2010 12 10 discontinued date is 2021 12 20 and let me say the company is thinking machines and I will say save this computer and all this is recorded and let me see here everything is recorded I can stop the recording and I will just do a right click here and say save all as HAR with content and let me see here uh, let me say give some name here so I recorded this on my Mac system uh, but let me just go to my Windows system and start Gatling recorder now you can start the standalone Gatling recorder or you can go to your project and then start the recorder from there we have already learned all this in the earlier sessions so let me go to my project that we created and here I will go to the uh, Gatling recorder so we have the recorder class here and I will just run the recorder class and this will open the Gatling recorder so yes we have this recorder window here and before I can use the HAR file I will have to copy that file from my Mac system so it got downloaded here let me just copy this from here and I will go to my Windows system and I'll just paste it on the desktop you can keep it anywhere on your system so here I will first go to the recorder and the recorder mode is HTTP proxy as of now I will change it to HAR converter and now I will browse the HAR file 
which is on my desktop so it is here I will open it and this is the package it will go to com.gatling.tests and the class name let me say the class name is search and edit computer and then uh, all this I'm leaving as default here the simulation folder is fine uh, the encoding everything is fine uh, let me check this no static resources so that it does not uh, get any of the images or CSS or JavaScript etc and then I will just go and click on the start button so here let me see where is our start button yes it's here so I'll just click here and it will convert the HR file to Gatling simulation and it is done so let me go back to my project and here I will just stop the recorder so just click on the stop recorder here and now if I go and check in my gatling com.gatling.tests package uh, we have got this script generated or this simulation script generated search and edit computer uh, let me expand it and we will see so this is our script and here you can see we have got the package name here then we have got some imports and these imports are necessary we have learned all this earlier this is the class name which extends simulation and then we have the HTTP protocol where we have the base URL and some headers and then we have some uh, header maps here which are optional if you want you can remove these so I'm just going to remove all these maps so that we have a very uh, clean and focused script and then after this we have the scenario and here because we have already de deleted the header maps we can also remove the references from here now when you remove these references make sure that you only remove this part so sometimes you will also have one more bracket here don't remove that so just remove this part so let me just remove this here and then we have here as well and this one as well and then here also there is a reference for header maps i'll just remove it so now we have got a very clean script so this is our scenario and the scenario name is search and edit computer and then we have different requests this is request zero then we have request one request two and three so first let us rename this request to some meaningful name so here request zero is actually going to the home page so let me just uh, say this is home and then here we are uh, doing a search so let me call this as search then here we are actually uh, just selecting that particular computer from the list so I will say this is select and then finally we are doing the we are editing the computer so you can see this is a post request here so here I will say edit edit computer or edit whatever you want to give it uh, you want to name it you can do that and you can now see this is our complete script so we have got our script created now step number two is uh, we have already done step number two that is we have given name to the requests and now we will divide the scenario into smaller modules now let us see our scenario so here you can see we have these different processes uh, we are going to the home page and doing a search and then selecting and then we are doing a edit of the computer so let us say if you want to divide it into two modules or two processes the first module is searching and selecting of the computer and the second module will be doing the update or doing the or changing the uh, computer details so here I can say well and I will give some name let us say search and then I will say equals to and this part that is starting from here until doing the select operation I will cut from here and just paste it here and let me also 
make the pause durations a little lesser so it has recorded all our pauses as well which is good we should be having an, a realistic performance test but let me make it to a lower value so this is our search module or our search process similarly i will create one more module i will say well edit equals and here i will just cut this part which is edit request and i will paste it here and now you can see let me also add a pause here and yes you can see now we have our two modules or two processes two isolated processes here this is search and this is edit now if you go to the gatling documentation if i go to gatling docs and let me go to the advanced tutorial here so you can see here on this link this is the gatling documentation here you can see this first step that is isolate process and this is exactly what we are doing here so we are isolating the process or we are dividing our big monolithic scenario into smaller modules which will be reusable and here you can see examples so just in case you are using a different language so here we are using scala but just in case you are using kotlin you can see an example and refer from here or java java is here kotlin is here and scala is here so you can always refer from here so we have got our two modules now we also have to change our scenario so here after dividing our scenario into smaller modules we will now say the scenario we will call these modules in the scenario so i will say here so this is our scenario i will say dot exec and i will call search and then edit so this is how our scenario looks like now so you can see it here as well and then finally we will save run and check if everything is fine so this is our script now you can see the entire script here and i will now save the script and now to run i will go to the engine class and you can do this all with the standalone gatling as well you can just edit your uh, script and then uh, run the gatling.bat or gatling.sh and then run the script so as of now i am in my project so i will run the engine and here uh, let us wait for the engine to start so yes we have got this here and here i will have to select the simulation so this is the one which is at number two so i will say here number two and if i want to give any description search and edit computer this will be shown in the report and let us just start it so this is running and very soon we will see the report and yes this is done and you can see all these requests here everything here and this is the report so let us first go to the report i'll copy this and open in a browser this is the index.html file for report and here you can see the name comes here search and edit computer and this is running fine you can see everything is passed and here we can also see all these requests here and we can see the active user so as of now we are running with a single user load and all these charts and graphs are here and i can also see the detailed report here per request so we have search select edit all this is running fine so we are able to divide our scenario into isolated smaller modules or processes and then run it and now these are reusable so just in case you want to reuse you can use them anywhere so this is how we divide our scenario now let us learn how to configure virtual users with ramp up so as of now if you see our script so let me go back and here 
let me go to my search and edit computer class here so you can see as of now uh, we are running with a single user load and the user is uh, we have a single user role here so we can change that so let us say we can define multiple sets of users and assign modules so I can say here we have a user role and then we have a admin role so I can say here I can say here well users equals and I will say scenario and then I will just say I will give some name here so I'm just saying this is the role users and then I will say dot execute and I can give what module this role can execute so this can only execute the search module or the search process so I'll just call the search process and then I will create one more user user role that is uh, admin and I will say here scenario and I will give the name admins and then I will say what all modules they can execute so they can execute search and they can also execute the edit computer so edit and now we have got two user roles users and admins and they have access to different modules so this we have done and now we can also add the ramp up with multiple sets of users so I can actually say setup in the setup method I can use these user roles so let us say here I will create a setup method and I will say here inside the setup method I will say users dot inject and here I will give some uh, ramp up time so, so you can see now we are actually doing a realistic or a real world performance test we are using a ramp up time ramp up time means uh, these number of users will be generated or ramped up during 10 seconds so in 10 seconds 10 users will be ramped up and these users will be having the role as users and here we are saying in 10 seconds two admin users will be ramped up so it is like a very real world test so I will say here ramp users I will give the number 10 and then I can say dot during 10 seconds so in 10 seconds 10 users will be ramped up and then I can say the same thing for admins as well admin users as well so I will give a comma here and say admins dot inject now here I am going to say let us say uh, use four admin users in 10 seconds and then I also have to add the HTTP protocol so I will just say I'll just use this dot protocol this is the HTTP protocol that we had here so this is the one that we are using so I will just add it here dot protocols and the protocol name and now I do not need this line I will just remove this line and also take care of the indentation just in case you see some errors you can always go to code and you will have here auto indent lines or if you are using a different IDE you can check what is the uh, option to correct the indentation and now you can see this is a very very real world performance test we have different modules we have different user roles different uh, users are getting ramped up at different intervals and then they are doing different uh, operations on the system and this is what a real world user will be doing or in real world users will be doing they will be uh, different users using different modules and the load will be will be increasing and decreasing at different times so we will be ramping up and ramping down now let us see this in action so let us now run this I will again go to engine.scala or we have already selected engine.scala here I will click on the run button 
and then I will select the simulation script so let me expand this yes so we have uh, this one search and edit which is at index 2 I will give some name search and edit with ramp up and user roles and hit enter and it has started and this time we will see different users and different ramp up as well in the report so let this complete and then we will see the report and verify and this is running fine until now yes everything is fine this is all we are getting the reports and results here and you can see all these global information the request count and then minimum response time max response time and then mean response time standard deviation uh, all these different percentiles I will have a separate session to discuss on all these uh, metrics and go through the report in detail uh, but now let us go and check the report I'll just copy this address for report and let us go to our browser and let us check so you can see search and edit with ramp up user roles this was the name I gave and these are all the details and here you can see per request this is the global details and matrices and let us now see the users so here you can see something very interesting active users along the simulation and then you can see all these different users and with different ramp up time so we started here we had one admin users uh, and two users then we are ramping up here you can see here we have so here we have uh, 10 user roles and 4 admin roles so total 14 active users and then it is ramping down here so you can see different users are ramping down and this is a very real world performance test so you can see the power of scripting in performance test how easily we were able to create a real world performance test and here are uh, some links so you can always go to the documentation I have already shown you the documentation that there is a Gatling community and if you are facing any issues you can always check with the Gatling community uh, let me just show you so Gatling community is actually a Google group and you can always go and check for your issues here and you can always create new questions as well so if you click here join us it will take you to a Gatlin user group on Google and you can always join and check all the issues and create new questions as well and then there is a Gatling cheat sheet that will be very useful while you are doing a Gatling project so if I go to Gatling cheat sheet you will get a link here and you can see this will be very handy you can see all these different things we can use in our Gatling project so I will be referring this in our projects in different parts so with this we have done this part and I hope this was very useful you can always take the quiz and you can always send me the score in the comments I will be happy to see your score and I will see you in the next part thank you for watching and never stop learning